Hey guys, it's Paul again with AZ Wonders. It's been about two and a half years since my last flash flood video. Uh, that's because it's been that long since we've really had one. I'm here in the neighborhood in Phoenix, and uh, contrary to the advice given by pop star Prince, I am going to going to go chasing waterfalls. I live. Uh, hang on, let me get that seat belt fixed. Good advice. Anyway, I live here in a uh, neighborhood on the north end of Phoenix, north of the Phoenix Mountains Preserve, and um, there are several washes that run through the preserve that are known for uh, getting pretty, pretty wet, getting pretty full. There's a little sign of what we're about to see, but um, going to a slightly different vantage point than my last flash flood video. I'm in a different vehicle too, so some of you said my last one uh, looked like I was driving a school bus. It was actually a yellow Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I'm driving a Lincoln uh, Navigator now, but uh, anyway, stay tuned for more uh, flash flood footage here in Phoenix, Arizona in the monsoon of 2021. Okay, for this segment of As the Washes Run, um, I'm in the Phoenix Mountains Preserve roughly uh, 32nd Street and East Puget Avenue. And um, <laughs> my timing's not perfect. The rain, the hard rain stopped about five minutes ago. And by the way, I'm rarely a guy who would uh, use an umbrella out here, but I'm doing it for two things, two reasons. Mainly to keep my equipment dry. Uh, I could use a uh, waterproof cover for my phone and my camera but the problem with that is it muffles my sound maybe you would like that anyway look at that the sun is uh, trying to break out over there it's kind of kind of an interesting effect and looks like the weather go out gods are going to cooperate um, because what's happening now is the rain is just picking up just as I said it uh, all the quick so this could get interesting real quick by the way there in the background is Piesco Peak that's a very popular hiking trail here in Arizona and Phoenix, second tallest mountain in the Phoenix Valley. Yeah, here we go. Didn't take long for the water to start running again. So there's two particular spots I'm trying to get to to uh, demonstrate how the water runs in the desert. I take people on hikes a lot here and describe to them what the wash, uh, the, the purpose of the wash, and um, what it looks like, uh, but it's hard for some people from places like the Midwest to, to believe it. And actually, I was expecting to see water running right through here, and it's not happening, although there's some water running right there, some underfoot here. Okay, I'll tune back in a couple minutes with another spot that I think we'll be able to see some water running really well. Well, here we've got uh, a little bit of water running, it's a good sign, for what I'm hoping to show. This is just a normal hiking trail in the Phoenix Preserve, and as you can see it's turned into a small river. Since it's, the soil is very rocky here and sloped for the most part, the water doesn't really penetrate the soil, it just kind of runs off and turns into uh, the washes that you're seeing here. So often, a couple trails come together. Here's one behind me, two there, two there. They form a little river just like that. Five minutes ago, this water had stopped running. Just as I had said, uh, it looks like I might be too late. A clap of thunder happened and it started raining again, and this is what we get. By the way, this is. Uh, coming at a time that the uh, 
dry, very dry weather pattern of almost two years was just busted by a uh, series of rain over the last three to four weeks. Uh, prior to that, we had had maybe two inches of rain in about six months. Since then, we've had about four inches of rain in three weeks. So I don't think anybody's ready to say the drought is over yet for the desert southwest, but this sure is a relief. It's a very welcome sight. Nobody here is complaining, except for those that are getting water in their houses. Here's another spot where some uh, couple of different washes converge. You can see it's just eroding away the soil there. And check this out. A little waterfall right in the middle of Phoenix. Hopefully you can see that. It's hard to tell because there's a lot of rain on my on the uh, backside lens of my camera there. So anyway, there you go. Waterfalls in the desert, Phoenix, Arizona, August 2021. Now here's the spot I really wanted to check on. I'm uh, I'm walking on the actual trail here. As you can see, the water's running underfoot. But the main spot I wanted to check on was the wash that runs right next to the trail. Up here, there's a spot that I walk by often that is uh, washed out quite a bit. Looks like chocolate milk flowing through there. Anyway, there's a spot where I think we'll be able to get a good vantage point. Oh yeah, see? So there's a little bit of water trickling here. But look up there, this is, this is the trail. And this is where you can see how it's just washing out. So when I come take my next hike after it stops raining, this trail is just going to be, uh, it used to be uh, all the way over here. But it's kind of washed out there, so either some volunteers or the parks department, uh, Phoenix Trail people will come and uh, put some put some uh, rock back in there to flatten it out. And look, look in the uh, distance there, you can see the clouds starting to break. That's a little peak up there that I often go to watch the sunset or sunrise. So if you follow me on social media and see a lot of sunrise and sunset pictures, that's where they're from. All right, here's the, uh, the wash running and then all its blurry. And we'll just continue on down to that last spot that I was uh, shooting footage from. In the background, you can see some of the rooftops and mountaintops in the Phoenix area. That's uh, North Phoenix, roughly uh, Shea and State Route 51, for sure. Those of you that know Phoenix, it's a vantage point. So the section I was just recording, that water comes right down here, gets a little boost from a couple of these other trails, and continues on down. Thankfully this water is only about ankle deep, but uh, you can imagine this multiplied, compounded by hundreds. Um, in other words, this water combining with more water from around the uh, area here and then starting to run out onto the neighborhood streets. That's why we hear of flash flooding in Phoenix, even though there's hardly ever any rain here. And you can see that wash continuing to run down there. Again, just for a vantage point, there's a uh, Piesco Peak. It's all peak in the background there. Formerly known as Squaw Peak. Right in uh, central Phoenix. It's located almost directly north of uh, Sky Harbor Airport, about seven miles. So if you're ever at the airport and you see a big peak sticking out to the north, that's the peak that I'm talking about. I'm uh, on the opposite side of the airport, on the, on the north side of the peak. Okay, so this is a pretty cool effect. I was about to uh, wrap up things here and because the rain was starting to really slow down. Then uh, the sun started popping out, so I thought for sure this storm is over with. But then all of a sudden the rain picked up again. So we've got a uh, combination of sunshine, thunder, clearing skies, rainfall, and waterfalls. This is uh, one of the payoffs for 
sticking around in Arizona in the summer. A lot of people leave during the summer months, but uh, also bothering to get out of your house when it's rainy in the summer. This is this is what you're treated to. Look at this effect right here, the rain dancing on the water as it's uh, flowing down. That is spectacular. Way to go, God. Cool stuff. That's all for now. Take care. By the way, I'll uh, link my other uh, flash flood video. It's a little bit more dramatic, uh, but I wouldn't say any uh, any cooler than this. Dramatic from the standpoint of the volume of the water. I'll link that in the uh, comments. Take care and peace. So that little uh, wash that I was expecting to find water in at the beginning of this video had nary a trickle in it. But look at this on the way back to my vehicle. We've got what amounts to a small river. Let's just do a depth check on this thing. Slightly over my ankles. Probably about five inches deep there. That's the deepest. Not a lot by, not very deep by river standards, but when you consider that this is usually just completely dry, it uh, kind of makes a statement there. This is the spot where I started the video. And as you can see, there was uh, no water running at this point. The rain's all but stopped, but the water continues to run. I just talked to a couple of ladies that were hiking back to this uh, trailhead, and they said it's really running uh up over the up over the hill here so uh not sure what the source of all that water is but uh there you have it river in the desert and it wouldn't be the valley of the sun without the sun so here it comes i'm sure it'll turn out to be a beautiful clear day here in phoenix take care everybody oh also got to get that plug in make sure to subscribe hit that like <laughs> hit the bell, and most importantly, uh, spread this video to your friends. Thank you. Take care now. Bye. So where does all this water go, you may be wondering? Here's one example. This is a city park. This is where kids play soccer and moms and dads do hit workouts and so forth. But you can see the water sort of just pouring into this, uh, this little pond, what has become a pond, over there. So a lot of the uh, streets drain right down uh, into areas like this and as you can see this one's currently at max capacity uh trash cans are starting to flood over there so the water actually runs out over there and uh as they would have it it's uh, over towards where i live so i'll probably catch a little bit more uh, video of that in just a second here but uh so this is uh kind of serves a dual purpose it's a water retention pond but also a park so this uh uh the grass will be very lush and green once this water drains out of here for uh many many weeks and so we're back to that famous spot from my last video where uh, we showed the uh water just running right through the neighborhood here You can see it crosses the road with a lot of force and power. Just drops right off here like a waterfall. Next time I come back, like tomorrow or whatever, this thing will be just covered with uh, sand and rock and everything. They'll have to come in with a front end loader to uh, scrape it all out and put it back into the desert. There's a chopper up there surveying the scene.